Do your words tear people down or do they build people up? Let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another righteous, spirit-filled episode. Today, I hope to get you closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Man, you know, recently in the year 2022, I said I was going to make it a goal and I definitely was going to pray on it to lighten up with the profanity. You know, profanity and using profane words has been a major part of my life. You know, I said I want to cut back on it and reduce the amount of profane language and make sure that my communication amongst all audiences, amongst all platforms, amongst my friend and my family is that of which will build them up and not tear them down. It's very easy to get into a mind frame where you just cast all kind of profanity and vulgar language out there and this is easily triggered by anger and you can quickly say something to somebody that can tear them down. Maybe it's a loved one, maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a, a friend, or maybe it's just a complete stranger. But when you think about being followers of Christ and doing what he tells us to do, it's very important that you sustain from language or communication that will tear somebody down. And today I want to read you a scripture from Ephesians chapter four, verses 29. Let no corrupt talking come out of your mouth, but only such as is good for building up, as it fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. If you don't have anything nice to say, as my grandmother would say, you should probably refrain from opening your mouth. Sometimes being silent is the righteous things to do. Because when you get in the habit of being a motor mouth, you will run off at the mouth, talk crazy to people, be very disrespectful, and say things that can curse them, ultimately tear them down, and the main goal is to build them up. Sometimes people need constructive, righteous criticism to get them on the path, but at the point which you are tearing them down, you've lost their focus on God. And the main purpose of this channel and what your mission should be to get people closer to God if you are a follower of Christ. And today I wanted to share that with you so when you're out in the world, when you're on your journey, you can make sure you're building up people around you and you can have a positive, righteous impact on their lives and not a negative one that they may not be able to recover from. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Bow.